Man, it's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you live in a pink dungeon. Ah, oh, yeah. I ain't gonna do it, man. Get it to you real raw rugged, and I'm back in here with another review. This is that Young Thug, that Tugger, Tugger. Hey, man, you know, I had to rock the Thugger shirt, you know what I'm saying? The slime season, you know what I'm saying, man? I had to, had to rock the Thugger shirt. It's only right if I'm uh, reviewing the Thugger. Um... Y'all know I'm a big fan of Thug, you know, that's not even, uh, hey, can niggas stop doing a needle drop? Like, leave it the needle drop, like, niggas be wanting to introduce a nigga. Uh, Young Thug, Atlanta-based artist, uh, makes it extra sense. Like, shut the fuck up, bro, stop using big words. Niggas, you're not needle drop, leave that the needle drop with the big words and the introduce. That's needle drop thing, you not needle drop, man, do you? Niggas gotta stop trying to copy the format and what made needle drop, cause, uh, blow up, cause you're not needle drop, you know what I'm saying, man? Leave that to that, leave that to Anthony, man, leave that to Amp, Big Amp, man, Big Amp doing his thing, you're, you're not, man, I don't know what you're doing, you're doing his thing. So anyway, I'm just, that's just a little, little advice for niggas trying to review shit, stop trying to do that, man, just, don't, like, hey, Young Thug, you know, we know who the fuck Young Thug is, shut up, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's annoying, but anyway, let's get into it, y'all, I know it's brought to you by Pizza Hut, goddamn, Thank you, you know what I'm saying? Can't say thank you, but thank you, man. Uh, first track, man. Uh, White Love Jean. Uh, so many hundreds. How the hell am I gonna lose it? He's like, ah, all this money. Oh, it's no way I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> That's not the way losing stuff works, you know? I'm not sure if you ever lost anything in your life. Just because you have a lot of it, just doesn't mean you're not gonna lose it. That's not how that works. Uh, hey, it's too big. She can't hide the motherfucker. Even if she divide the motherfucker. <laughs> And she's like, ah, oh, my ass is so big. Oh my gosh, Young Thug is coming. What, what, what do I do? Hide it. I can't hide it. I'm going to divide it. Oh, I can't do it either. Oh, if I carry the one, it's not. Like, it's, <laughs> what does that mean, man? And my favorite bar, spent racks on my son and his squad. <laughs> hey, man, this nigga got like 20 kids already. He going to spend racks on his kids and his and his kids' friends, man. Hey, father of the year award, man. This nigga, he has got them father of the decade, goddamn, man. This nigga take care of his kids and his kids' friends. Hey, you can't ask for nothing out of black, man. You can't ask nothing better, man. Uh, overall, okay song. Um, and I, people ask me, like, why did it take me so long to review this? I'm not, to be honest, man. This, this is not like the Frank Ocean thing. I'm not finna troll you guys, man. It's... This mixtape was kind of white my ass quality, man. This mixtape, hey, man. I, it's Young Thug, so I ain't gonna get too disrespectful and wild. I ain't gonna get too far up my ass and crack some crevices, but hey. I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's, a, it's a little dookie right. It's a little dookie back there. I had to get it out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Still a little white my ass quality, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't know what he was thinking with this mixtape. I wasn't... Uh, let's get into it more, man. Floyd Mayweather featuring Gucci... Travis Scott and Gunna. Um, uh, Gucci had a bar. I'm selling Purple Rain. Rest in peace to Prince. That was a bar. Shot, Gucci did his thing. Uh, then Travis, like, what the fuck is Travis? Travis Scott really got in his song saying, hee 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 hee, I'm gonna really do something good. He's the biggest finesser of all time. Like, he really, like, convinces people, like, yeah, if you let me get in your track, I'm gonna do something very great and spectacular that's never been hurt before. Hey, man, then he got over here and said some bullshit, man. He said he he won't fly the bitch from India, then to China. Why? That's just un Why? Like, what does that mean? You're going to fly her from India, then China? Like, what are you, what are you fucking... <laughs> what is that? What does that mean? Are you trying to teach her about cultures? What are you, what are you going to culture appropriate? What the fuck are you, you going to... Like, are you going to... Uh, what the fuck does this mean, man? They're going to take a... a, a um, uh, a fucking, what, what's that class called? A human geography class and think he know about the goddamn nation and shit, man. That was a very, just really weird bar. Uh, I didn't understand that. Um, I just didn't understand the song. The end was pretty funny, though. Um, Young Thug had like a Bruce Lee noise. He was like, ow, or some shit. That was funny. Um, the last part of this was pretty funny. Uh, shout out to Gunner. He said, I sip it till I'm asleep. I might overdose. That's, that's not good. I don't know if I can bragging about that. <laughs> Who says that? Like, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna do some drugs. A lot overdose, nigga. Nah, nah, boo, boo. You don't do so many drugs. It's me. You're not as <laughs> you're you're more healthy than me. Nah, nah, boo, boo. <laughs> you wanna live longer? <laughs> Who does that? I don't. That was really weird. He's bragging about that. Then he says, I just got them bricks from my mama. She got a truckload. Hey, then he has. Then he adlibs himself and says, huh? <laughs> Cause I'm like, what does that mean? Why, why does your mom have brick loads? I mean, truck loads of bricks. And he even says stuff like, huh? And then, then Young Thug comes on and say, uh. He said, what he say? Oh, fuck you mean you get it from your mammy. <laughs> hey, even y'all thug is like, what? Why do you why are you getting drugs from your mom? Like, I'm pretty sure that's not the way life works, man. Hey, nobody, even the nigga who said it himself didn't understand that. That was wild. Um, hey, funniest bar throughout this whole probably mixtape. 
I just got a family pack of Jimmy Choo's. That had me dying, man. Nigga said he got a family pack of Jimmy Choo's like they were goddamn Dorito chips. Goddamn, nigga, like he said, nigga, like he got some goddamn hot flaming Cheetos. Nigga got the goddamn family pack. Hey, that shit that had me dying, man. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. That, that, I like the last, like, part of the track where Gunna and Young Thug going at it. And I like Gucci verse, but Travis Scott, hey, Travis Scott, eat a dick. I don't know what you was thinking, man. Uh, Swiss Beats, I mean, this is an okay song. I mean, the, the, the hook was, I guess, la, 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 I guess, I mean, just, I guess, man, just, I don't know, it didn't impress me. But one of the standout tracks, Future Swag, man. I fuck with your baby mama, eh, hey, hey, I fuck with your baby mama, eh, hey, you break for your baby mama, eh, hey, I need hit for your baby mama, eh, hey, Hey, this is a beautiful track right here, man. If you're driving in a car and you're doing less than 70 miles per hour in a car, listen to the song, you're a fucking dweeb. Grow up and drive fast. What are you fucking worried about crashing? Get over yourself, loser. What are you fucking, an like, idiot? Come on, stupid idiot. Drive fast to the song. This song literally deserves to be dri driven as fast as you can. This is a beautiful song. Take off your seatbelt. What are you worried about? Your safety, you fuck. Hey, this is a beautiful song right here. He had a bar in this song. All I see is red like a bull, because you know the bull eyes be red? Like, that was hard. Uh, what do you say? Hey, she ready for dick in her ass and her throat. <laughs> hey, he said, guess I want that dick. Oh, where do you want it, girl? In my ass and in my throat. Like, she's just so happy for it. Uh, one of my favorite songs, man. I fucking your baby mama. Hey, this is a standout track right here. One of my favorites. And uh, next track we get into is Riri. This is okay. The hook, though, was fucking horrendous, man. I didn't, like, he was like, work, work, ar, ar, ar. Like, what are you fucking, like, trying to call, like, your your wolf friends or something? What do you, what do you, like, spent the summer with the hyenas? Like, what is that, like, the call to them when they're gonna come in the booth and, like, do ad libs for you? Like, they're Quavo or something? Like, I didn't get that. That was a really bad hook. Um, yeah, man, I just didn't understand the song. I'm pretty sure Riri wouldn't like this either. So, I, don't, I don't know what that was about. Um, chat number six, Guap featuring Quavo, Offset, and Scooter. I mean, I didn't really like this either. It was just, like, there. It didn't really, like, wow me or anything. Um... Yeah, it was, it was there. I don't know. I, I really don't have anything crazy to say about these songs. They're just there. Uh, Harambe, though, another standout track. He's getting into this, like, very white thing he likes to do when he likes to go from his voice because he did it from the Goo Up Home. Like, Goo Up Home, yeah, we miss you. Like, he's like a goddamn, uh, goddamn slave from the goddamn 1700s or some shit. Like, he be singing it from the goddamn diaphragm. Like, I, I be feeling this right here. Hey, back it up. Like, I, I, I can't do it, but the way he does his voice delivery right here is very interesting, and I wouldn't mind hearing more of this. So, I do like the bag it up. Like, I like the way he utilizes his voice. Harambe, a standout track. Why he named this track Harambe, I don't get it. He said something about gorillas and apes or something. I don't know, humorous guy, but eh, I like this. Uh, track number eight, Webby. Um, I'm pretty sure Webby would like this song, uh, featuring Duke. Um, quick little story about Duke's like entertaining guys, I guess. I tried to interview Duke. I called his manager, and um, I'm like, hey, can I get a Duke interview? He was like, oh, where are you from? I'm, I'm telling him whatever. He's like, all right. He's like, how much are you trying to pay for it? I'm like, pay for an interview? And he's like, yeah. I was like, how much is you? What are you looking for? He was like, shit, two K. I'm like, shit, you got to want to play me in 2K? <laughs> goddamn, you want to get whooped in 2K? Hey, nigga was talking about goddamn 200 uh, smackaroos. Hey, this nigga was talking about goddamn 200 smackaroonies, man. This nigga was talking about a goddamn video game. Hey, nigga, I hung up that phone so quick, but he thought I goddamn got a call from a more Porter show. Boy, I hung up that thing so quick. Hey, man, no idea what that nigga was on right there. Uh, hey, looks like we're getting no Duke interview. Um, Channel number nine, Kanye West featuring Wyclef. No. So I gotta say, just I know it's, it's not do this. No, it's not. Uh, pick up the phone featuring who cares? I, it's, it's, I got I'm, I'm done with this mixtape now. Like, really disappointed me. Like I really was expecting something really good, and he gave me something really like white my ass quality. So yeah, I'm pretty down. Like it's not even like an upbeat interview. Like usually it's just like it's just it's blah it's blah it's, blah, it's there. Man. I don't know. Hey man, so then y'all already know. I say what I mean and I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate him. Plus, gonna play highlight to boy, man. Hey, I gotta start making wrestling videos again. I don't know. Shout out to Kevin Owens. He's a champion now. He's a realest nigga living.